Oh, good morning, everyone. Welcome to the school of ABC Diesels. <laughs> it's Saturday, and we have our student, Miss A Miss Adams, Miss Amy, and our instructor, Mr. Brown. Good morning, Mr. Brown. Good morning. What are we learning about today, Mr. Brown? Well, Amy asked, "What are these?" What do we have here? And I was telling her these are the rocker arms, and she wanted to know more, so I figured I'd give a quick, you know, simple class on it and. I don't know what it is. Um, What's this stuff out of? This came out of a 2007 New Body Style Duramax. So, um, anyways, Amy, you got your rocker arms. The rocker arms bolt to the cylinder heads. The cylinder heads are off the truck right now. And you know about the pistons that go up and down in the inside the engine, correct? Uh -huh. Well, you gotta allow air to go in and then exhaust to go out. And to do that, you got these valves, two, two for intake and two for exhaust. The two intake will open, let the air in, and then the piston will come up, compress it, ignite, go back down. When it goes back down, it'll come back up, and then the exhaust valves will open and let the, push out the exhaust as it's coming back up. Anyways, with the rockers, the rockers will sit on top of these springs. And these springs are connected to the valves, obviously. Well, when the rockers push down on the springs, the valves will open. Well, what operates the rockers? You got your push rods here, which go down through the head and down to the camshaft. And right Where do those go? Through the head right here. Put one down. We're displaying it for the class to see. Mm -hmm. Going down. And then you have your rocker. Yeah, like show us all how it works, PJ. Right. We're in class. Assemble a little bit. A little bit. Just assemble a little bit. For those out there, there's a lot of people out there who don't know how this stuff works. So, as the engine's running and rotating, the camshaft is in the valley of the engine. As it rotates, it has lobes on it. And the lobe goes up and it goes down. Well, every time it comes around, it rides on this thing called a lifter. Well, since it rides on it, and this rides on the lifter, every time the load comes up, it pushes it up, and the load goes past, it pushes back down. And with this operating, it rides on the rockers here, which also rides on these bridges, which connects both valves for one rocker. Then when it gets up to the load, it pushes up, then pushes the rocker, pushes down, because it's a pivot point, pushes down on the springs to open the valves up to allow the air in or the exhaust out. You kind of get it? Or? Yeah, okay. cool. So that's all your engine is, is a big compressor. So just lets air in and let exhaust out. That's all it needs to do. So, and it's why the valves open and closing, they need to be seated also to hold the pressure. So why is it apart? Why is it apart? Well, we had a little bit of a smoking issue with this truck, and we ended up taking it apart to verify that there was nothing wrong with this, the block, the actual engine block, the pistons, and we also had the head sent out to make sure that they were flattened, pressure test them, and check for any cracks. And we did that, and the heads checked out good. But the only fault we did find was the turbocharger, which is bad, and that was causing the whole smoking issue. But for us here at ABC Diesels, we need to verify that everything's good and not second guess it. So that's why we, we removed the heads just to make sure. Good class, PJ. Good job, babe. That's cool. Good job, PJ. Very educational, buddy. And that's what's happening in the world of ABC Diesels. Check us out. We're here till 4 o'clock Saturday, 88 Fleming Street. Or check out the car lot, 5306 Jefferson Davis Highway, 10 to 4, all day long, 9 to 6 during the week. Check us out online, abcdiesels.com. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Facebook. We'll get the Twitter up and going sooner than later and uh, exciting stuff. Thanks for checking us out. Have a great weekend.